Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I decided to clean the van out and show you guys this water meter which is going to measure your gallons and we're going to show you in this video how to set this up. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we are starting out with a hundred feet of hose here. This is the best hose that you can get out on the market. You can literally run this stuff over and hook it up to a fire hydrant and it's not going to bust or break or what have you. This is the Zero G. I will have it in the description. Also, we have this I'm going to be taking apart right now and we are going to set this up. Now, I want to show you guys um, our setup. So we have two deionized tanks and these right here are about uh, 700 gallons each that you're going to be able to use to deionize water. So we've got about 1,400 gallons. This little device right here basically is going to do, is going to count the gallons that are going through the system. So you have an accurate idea of how many gallons is going through the system uh, and then when you need to change it. Also, you can use your uh, uh, other meters, your uh, other meters to test the water and um you know the the parts per million uh you can use uh those and uh test that to make sure that your uh water is is still close to zeros uh you want them anywhere less than 100 parts per million uh coming out of these tanks right here as you can see these tanks are pretty big these tanks we use uh for um solar panel clean and we have a quick disconnect right here that we use for our hose so the hose is basically right here which this connects on to the other end and we can use that brush okay and pole just straight out of our straight out of the van if we wanted to now i wanted to show you guys these tanks also these are the on the go tanks that i have in the description we use these only only repeat only for window washing that's it you will burn through these tanks fairly easy if you are doing you know 200 solar panels uh or what have you you will burn through this no problem but we only use these just for uh, window washing. If we need to get somewhere where we can't get to in the van, we'll take this, hook up a 100-foot hose on uh, the input right here. It'll go through the system, come out, go through the second stage. And then we also have our quick disconnect right here, as you can see. So this right here goes to the end of your hose. If not, you can connect, you can literally take this piece off and connect. Um, I'm sorry, you can't take this off, but uh, you can get an adapter and uh, connect a 100 foot hose to it or connect the 100 foot hose to here and then this other end to the other end of the hose and you should be fine and then you'll have uh, this right here to, to use on top of your roof or wherever uh, it is going to go. But I just wanted to bring this out to you guys so you have uh, an idea of what these tanks are used for. We do not use these tanks for solar panel cleaning whatsoever. Strictly window washing, that's it, and it's used for this. Now, we could go ahead and we could use this directly out of, of the van by simply connecting it to that piece right there. We just need to turn the handle and it feeds there and it will not go through our um, high pressure system. This will go directly from the hose connect to here and then to our water source. A water source comes in right here, goes through the tanks, and then you can just simply turn that knob, and that right there will connect to 
uh, your hose, which is this one right here, connected to there, and then you're out, you know, cleaning windows or solar panels or whatever you want to use them for. All right, we're back. So we have our gallon counter right here. Also, you want to get some Teflon tape, Teflon tape, uh, and this is going to be put on the outside. So let's go ahead and just rip this bad boy up while we have a chance and get this taken care of. So, all right, here we go. So you want to put Teflon tape right on this end right here, and then also Teflon tape on the input of your hose to get that taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Get yourself a little bit of piece of a Teflon tape here. This is actually gasoline tape um, that we use, which I really, really like because it's thicker. And so this just goes on the end right here. And we're going to go ahead and hold that there. And... Put that up. All right. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And there we go. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you guys something real quick here. Let me go ahead and flip this around. All right. Uh, this piece right here comes off. And... This right here, the hose would connect directly into here. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece in just like this. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. So let's take this off and I'll, I'll flip this around again. All right, we got this piece right here. So this is going to go right in here and we're just going to tighten it up and make sure that this piece is really tight. Just get yourself a small wrench and make sure it's tight. And then this piece right here is going to go directly onto your um, deionized tank. Okay, and this piece right here is going to connect to our hose. So we're going to go ahead and connect that to the hose. We're going to put some. Uh, we're going to put some tape on this also. Go ahead and do that. Put that on the end of that there. And and it's always good. You know, you can wrap it around several times. Uh, it's not going to hurt. Be much better, actually. And we're going to go ahead and connect that directly onto this piece here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and connect this piece directly onto the deionized tank. So let's go ahead and flip it down. Here we go. Um, I have a 100 foot here. And basically connect it here. Kind of hard to do it with one hand, guys. And, all right. And here we go. So, there it is, all connected. Now, this is gonna turn on as soon as we connect this. So, let's go ahead and grab this end right here. And, we're gonna go ahead and take this and connect it straight to a water source. Now, you want to test the water here first when you are uh, doing any type of job. So you want to test the hardness of the water first, and then that way you have an idea. But for video purposes, we are not going to do that. So go ahead and connect this. All right. And that's nice and tight. So we just turn this on. All right. There we go. Now, what I got to do is take all this out, 
because uh, we can get the water here and there's nothing here because there's no water coming in yet. Now this is going to be something automatic. So let me go ahead and take all this out until we get water coming in to this point. All right, still got this all. And you gotta make sure that everything is not kinked up. All right, there we go. So here you go, it just turned it back on and there it is right there. So what I have to do now is turn the water on. Once I turn this water on, and as you can see, I didn't tighten this tight enough, so I gotta make sure I tighten that a little tighter. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. So let's go on to the other side. All right, here's my switch. This switch right here, I'm gonna turn this on so water starts flowing through this hose right here. And water is gonna go through this tank here, come in and then go through this tank, come out and then into our reservoir tank. So let's go ahead and turn that on. As you guys can see, water is starting to fill. As he's doing that, now you're going to see this start counting. We're at 1.2 gallons, 1.4, and as you can see, how many gallons that is taking. That will continue. And it's that easy, guys, that easy. So I just wanted you guys to take a look at it so you guys can see this and it is filling up and as it's filling up this is a hunt this is a hundred gallon tank it's gonna fill all the way up we have a shutoff valve that we use uh, for we have a shutoff valve that we use that's inside and it's inside the tank right here and that basically when it fills all the way up it'll shut off about right here and we're done but that's it that is your gallon counter um i'm gonna leave that in the description below and uh, you guys can order that from there if you like and also i will have the hose here uh this hose here which is probably one of the best hose out on the market uh to use so with that being said, thanks for watching this video, guys, and we will catch you on the next video. See you guys. Peace.